everyone, I am Dibio and my friends Victor Naura will presenting preliminary case proposal for Kota Kode freelance platform. First, we have overview. We know that Kota Kode has integrated tech ecosystem where programmers and recruiters meet, collaborate, and grow. Want to strive to be Indonesia, grow all in one tech ecosystem. And now, by looking the status quo, the futures of the freelancing industry show optimistic trend during and after COVID-19. We find out that the lack of focus on freelancing scene in Indonesia itself. So we take this opportunity to build freelancing platform inside Kota Kode. Then we develop this platform using design thinking process. At the first stage is empathize. As the starting stage in developing the design, we should understand about the company itself. And here we did the company background research first. Second, we started to jump into the user research. Here, we listen to the freelancers to know about their problems, needs, and expectations using freelancing platform. And here is the meaningful insight that we got from the interview. Third, Besides all of this research, we also try to experience ourselves in using Kota Kode in order to know the pattern about the platform. And here are our findings. Move to the next stage, that is defined. We map the user's answer into the affinity mapping to get the pattern about their answers, and here are the results. And then we mapped again into this quadrant to form what's the strength, weakness, opportunity, and the threat. After that, we start to create the user persona based on our finding in user research to keep our focus in designing the platform. And then we make the conclusion from the research on the experience map. And here are the takeaways that we got from our user research. And after knowing the takeaways, we create a user flow to describe how the user can achieve their goals in on the sites. Next, we create information architecture to make it easier for us to minimizing the missing elements. And the next, we create wireframe to make us easier to understand the concept because it has been visualized. And from low fidelity, we also create high fidelity prototype and reach the final stage. We conduct the user testing to validate is our product acceptable to potential users. And we get the con conclusion that the result shows that the user have no issue while using the problem. I think that's all from us. Thank you very much.